I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on... I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of Noose the Erudition. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. Antimatter Legion become so weak. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. This is Xander. Xander won Kuwabara, the first genius in history. The one who supposedly created Noose? Yeah, that's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an Eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. I know this person. She's the Lord of Silence. Poka Kakamond. You see? Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. I'm not interested. Hurry up with our real business. Who's this? Uh, no idea. Who's this old guy with a white beard? No idea. A society member? <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Scroolum, 
Your good old opponent. Pa? I told you already. I didn't know it was him. Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. And there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Ugh, seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. That breathing sensation. Remember it. You took the bait just like that. Didn't hurt. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herta organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Huh? I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Huh, 
What's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Why are you standing around? Having second thoughts? Yeah, we've always been- Wanna give him a new name? There we go. How much does he remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Time to get up. you'd remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? This is also a lovely answer. So, Elio can foresee the future, but he can't make decisions for you. Use that will of yours to reach the end of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? 
According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Aren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Petite cutie with pink hair? Madam Herta appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express! Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hung and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this... invasion. Of course, as a... <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the Security Department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, alright. You stay safe. Hmm... Maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. 